just get them sorted out here. I'm running a little behind today. I do apologize. Couldn't be helped. Body's not happy today, so. It rarely is, but today it was especially so. Especially so. All right. Slide that up there. Mm, got a little bit of water there. Not much, though. Do you have a water bottle on your desk, here, Dunley? Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, I knew I was going to forget to do something. Sorry. Yes, know. husband is making make that much noise. all Sorry. of the noise. He knows how much they crinkle. All of the noise ever. He knows how loud they get. He's such a brat sometimes. Let's see. All right, so incense is behaving at the moment. Okay. All right. Now, let me bring that up so I can see that. If you hear any thumping, it's him outside doing things. So. Uh, we're starting a new project this week and uh, racked my brain trying to figure out what we were going to do. I was like, well, we could do the traditional. Um, let me see special. But I didn't have the colors I necessarily wanted for that. So, sorry, I'm trying to find uh, 6B, that should do. Um, let's try and find a pencil. Um, I don't know if that's the eraser I want. Uh, see, I am very uh, unprepared today. I don't feel well. I've been trying to, uh, I hook up with a mic and I've been trying to, it's part of the reason why I'm late, I've been trying to push myself to uh, get my act together and I'm struggling. So, almost canceled, but I was like, no, don't, don't do that. We're not doing anything too strenuous today, so. I think I need to empty that sharpener. It seems rather full. Okay. So, as you can see, we're going to be attempting to do a peacock, peafowl. I guess peafowl is the politer way to word it. I always grew up with it being called a peacock, but. I guess we'll go with peafowl, so we'll, we'll bust open our new canvas. Now this is going to be another tissue paper art piece. Um, I don't have the tissue paper yet for this piece. I have some of it. Um, I don't have the blues yet, so <laughs> uh, yeah, that could be a small issue. Um, no, I, I'm in the middle of waiting for a PayPal transfer to go through since um, Twitch is taking their sweet time um, recognizing that I should be getting paid. So, um, <laughs> so I am waiting on a, 
a um, a PayPal transfer that probably won't go through until Tuesday. Because by the time I decided I wanted to do this, I was like, oh wait, I don't have the tissue paper. And then I was gonna go to the store and get it, right? Because I'm like, oh, it'll only be a couple of dollars. And then um, Russell's been having a really rough time lately, so I was like, okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to order this instead. So, yeah. Here we are. Alright. I've never drawn a peacock before. Gifo. Sure, this should be interesting. Um, I'm gonna grab my T square, even though that's probably gonna be absolutely useless. I need to back up a bit here. Alright. So, my T-square is just a wee bit big. Like, I would love to get a smaller one, but I don't know if they make them any smaller. I mean, they might. Um, I can't draw a straight line even with a ruler, so I like the T-square because it kind of helps me keep the ruler straight. Right, so, we're going to do it portrait style, as you can see here. Um... My camera's a little weird with the um, angle at the moment, so um, part of this might be cut off. I'll try to, to move it around as we can. So, um, yeah, I'm actually surprised that's that far off the screen. I did not think it was quite that far. Apparently it is. Right, there's the top of the canvas there in frame. So, um, we've got our, we've got some space up here for the peacock feathers. And, um, we have the little poofdas coming off of the head of the peacock. So, um, We might want to max them about there. How far do we think those come up? Maybe here. We'll uh, do the top of our head. Um. Beak. Well, so if there's the top of the head, I think you can kind of see those marks. Um, so eyeball, would start maybe. It's kind of at this. The bottom of the eye is kind of almost level with the top of the beak where it comes into the face. So, this is the top of the head. Um, Maybe top of eye here. Bottom. No. Not here. Maybe bottom of eye there. This is all just rough estimate. Um. So bottom of eye, bottom of beak, or top of beak, um, bottom 
of beet. It goes down a little bit, actually. Oh, that might be a little far. Um, no, actually. That might be... where we're looking at and alright so this is the tip of the beak um, and this is the bottom of the eye top of the beak I think maybe top of the neck would be in here Maybe. I feel like I'm way off in my proportions, like way off. Um, so then that's the top of the neck or like the bottom of the head. So. Way off here. Like way, way off. That would put all right. So we're just we're gonna wing it. Um, I try to give myself, I try to give myself songs, but I'm only one person, even though sometimes it seems like I'm not. You slide over there, microphone. Um, I try to give myself some kind of pretend guidelines. Microphone and the T-square are not getting along, so... Was this supposed to be a line? Oh, I think that was one I tried to. Now it's going to be kind of smudgy because I'm using a 6B. I'm using a 6B. I thought I grabbed an H. Um, right. So, yeah, okay. Alright, my brain. It's like, like I said, I'm not feeling well today. Um, I had to get our pizza dough started for dinner. Which was another reason why I was late and I got all done and realized I forgot to add salt to the dough and I had to put it back on the KitchenAid and re-add the salt in and hope that it was going to take it. Well now I know why that sharpened up into such a nice point. This is super soft lead. Okay. Um, it's like, oh yeah, this will work. Dummy. Mm. All right. So, typical, typical Nisi. I'm just trying to get my T-square out of the way and failing miserably because. Left-handed dex dexterity doesn't exist for me. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Why are you being so difficult? Oh, thank you. I don't know why that was so freaking hard. Okay. A lot harder than it had to be. Okay, so... Um, right. Takes me a minute to wrap my head around what I'm doing when I'm drawing something new. As I've totally forgotten what my, each of my lines were. Um, 
feather. Hoofs. Um. Head. Top. Um. I top. You're not probably gonna be able to read this shit. This is just my notes. Um, I bottom. Um, neck. And then beak, maybe? Okay. So, um, right. okay, so we are here. This is going to be the top of our head. I'm terrible at drawing, just gonna let you all know that right now. Terrible at it. Beak. Do body. Probably not down quite that far, but that's okay. Um, actually, that's a little bit too much of an angle. So. How much above this was he? I don't think it needs to come out that far. This is super. I just noticed the uh, elephant ear. Oh. Mm -hmm. What? Nothing. I'm not complaining, I just found it funny. Well, we'll see what happens. Go I don't know. I figured, well, if it starts to get funky, we'll just pull it out. Yeah, pretty much. Just a couple of these. Whew. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to plug the can back in, huh? Um, so, we'll... Sorry, last of the noises. Okay. This. Noises from me. Sorry. I don't believe him, but okay. So, um, this is kind of, like, straight... Down. Kind of straight down, but not exactly. And then we're gonna. It kind of comes in a little. And we're gonna take that straight down to the edge. Alright, so we're gonna try to. Camera might shake a little, for which I'm sorry but the camera's sitting on my monitor, kind of angled down in, in weirdness. But it's what we have to do to make this work right now, because of space. Don't have a whole lot of room for fancy camera rigs, and uh, don't have a lot of space for ca fancy camera rigs either. Yay. Oh, you know what? Can I 
clean this in here? I can. Fantastic. This board is all sorts of helpful. Okay. Okay. So, actually, that might be a little bit too high of an angle, honestly. Might want to reduce that just a little bit. This is an 11 by 14 canvas that we're trying to get this set up on. So this is just kind of going to be rough. We're going to come back in with our our paint and do a rough color key over top of it like we did with the Bob Ross one. So. Alright, so that's kind of kind of there. Alright, so now the rest of the body I feel like it's kind of like it's kind of a bowling pin shape, but So this white board that I'm on top of, that I've been using to do paint and clay and stuff on, that is just a cutting board. It's a plastic cutting board. That's all it is. I was trying to use it as a watercolor board, but my tape wouldn't stick to it. So I'm like, oh, well, if I can't anchor this, that's a slight problem. I mean, I might be able to get the tape to stick if I take some, uh, I take some, this is going to get messy because I've used the 6B instead of the 6H like I thought I grabbed because my brain's not processing things correctly today and I apologize. Um, hard to process when you've got the headache going. Um, headache slash migraine. I'm hoping it doesn't turn into a full blown migraine. If I took something, we'll see if I caught it soon enough. I feel like I didn't though. Um, but we're going to come back over this with paint. It's going to get messy. It's going to get smudgy. It's just because of the type of graphite we're using. I really just wanted a dark pencil so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, if you're going to be painting this, you want a lighter, like if you're not going to be doing the tissue paper, you definitely want a lighter pencil. Um, if at all possible, like even a standard number two pencil would be better than um, than this. <laughs> this is this is extreme for what we're doing. Um, but because it doesn't matter if it's a little smudgy, um, it, it's it's okay for what I am doing. So, um, all right. So top of neck is gonna come up to here, or the bottom of the neck. Excuse me. Okay, so the bottom of the neck, um, kind of, I'm going to take that up just a little bit, um, kind of has the beak coming down off of it at a bit of an angle. Like I said, these are just pretend guidelines. They, they mean nothing. Because um, I'm a little bit higher there. So our head kind of... I am too high, actually. Let's redo that because that's going to affect everything else in here. 
Alright. So. Bottom of the neck. Kind of. Sees that. Um. Kind of head area in here. Right. Oh yes, we are making quite the mess here. I might need to get my needed eraser out because it's graphite palooza everywhere today. I hope this is the needed eraser that's working. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, that's kind of working. I have not tried to scratch this out before today, so this is, um, what happens. Okay. Um. So where was I saying the bottom of our eye was? Um, probably this one. Um. This is the bottom of the eye. Um, and this is It's gonna right. Wow, this is gonna be the derpiest P file ever. I've never drawn one of these before. Remember, we're going to have to come back in and do this with tissue paper, so we're going to lose some of it. It's not going to be super, super detailed. Um,
let's try to clean this up a little bit. It's getting a little, a little messy in here. Oh. So. And this up to here and then there's a little bump in and then we come back out like the back jaw area of the head so we're a little over the top of my head guideline that is fine Again, it was just an approximation of where I kind of was thinking things would, would sit. But you know what? If this wants to be a, a, a derpy pee foul, it, it can be a derpy pee foul. That's, that's fine. Um, it's probably going to look pretty derpy by the time we get all the tissue paper in. Oh, I didn't know you were working on that. Yeah. I need to check your derp later. My what? Your derp. I need to look at your derpy pee foul. I'm confused why. You're just saying it was going to be pretty derpy by the end? Yeah. I haven't seen even the outline you're doing. Oh, it's because I hadn't done it yet. Mm. This is my first attempt to draw a p-fowl. Oh, I didn't know you were drawing. I thought you were tissue. I am, but I do a sketch underneath and then I do a color key so that way I don't have to keep looking at my reference. So I do a rough sketch, I paint it in so my colors are where I want them, and then it's kind of like tissue by number at that point because <laughs> uh, like we're not going to be able to blend like we could with paint so um, we didn't do the green half of the feather section yet we're, we're not not there yet we're not there yet okay we're still working on the head um, I feel like this should come over because it's kind of it's it's kind of lined up back here, so I feel like this needs to get tailored down a little bit. Um, clean that up a little. Well, he's got a got a thick neck here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Alright, so we've got some, some things happening here. So this is about <sighs> we've got some like patterns around the eye and stuff. Um, so right under the nose actually, which is, is strange. Um, so along the top of the eye, and kind of like right in here, right under the nose, um, there's a patch of white. And this kind of runs up to the corner of the eye, and kind of runs up along the eye. I mean, maybe we should have put the eye in first, but it will give us sort of a a go point, I guess. Alright, so there's also a little bit of in there. Um, Alright, so our eye kind 
this that's in there. And then under. Uh, I, there's like another section of white. head actually needs to come back a little bit. Kind of thinking that was gonna be the case as we were getting going in here. Alright, so we've got um that's like a blue, and then right up against this blue section, there's like another section of white around the eye. Um, okay. Then we've got some some doodles and. I know these are feathers, but the way they're placed, I'm either going to have to do little tiny balls, or we're going to have to do like the bush technique that we did um, in the Bob Ross painting, when we did the shrub line. And, okay, so, actually that's not half bad. Okay, um, I'm sure it could be done better, but, alright, so let's, let's figure this out, because I didn't put the, the green stuff in. Um, alright, so, the green area, concentrated green area, um, is kind kind of caps out probably around here so maybe maybe about here What angle does it feel right? Are we back too far? We might be back too far. Let me get rid of all this in here because then we're just going to get confused about where we're at. Alright, so if we cap it out here. Now, kind of. to go potty? Can you give me a minute? You have to wait for me for a minute or you'll have to wait for daddy. This is gonna kinda maybe 
about here. It's probably a little big. We'll have to adjust this a little bit, I think. That does feel a little big, doesn't it? Let's start adjusting this down again. And we're going to lose the other guidelines a bit. Because, well, we don't really need them as much now. This isn't going to be like fully solid in here. Oh, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of graphite. Okay. Just looking at my <laughs> eraser. Ooh. All right. That's okay. We can clean it. If you're worried about smearing, don't do this. <laughs> Cause you're gonna have graphite smears everywhere. You either want to get like a paintbrush or just blow. I think, yeah, I think we'll just slim that down a little bit. Alright. Okay. Not terrible. Yet. Um. Yet. Okay, so now I think we'll and we'll start ripping out some of our our guidelines in this to get a better feel of where we're at. Kinda need this one to stay though. Um let's come in here and we'll get this ripped out. Hang on, I gotta clean my eraser real quick. Okay. This does wonders. It's got this like little like like hexagon square raised grippy pattern on it. It cleans these wonderfully. Like three passes and we were done. Okay, um, let's get this guideline out of here. Just so we don't get confused. Alright, and I'm gonna get all of this out of here. Because we've got different lines that are going to go in there. Alright, get all of that out. Okay. Now we'll come back in over here. Like, it's okay if we don't get rid of all of the guidelines. I'm just trying to lessen the confusion. So let me come back in here. 
because we're going to have a lot more lines going every which way here in a few minutes that don't really matter. Um, like they don't need to be that precise. They can be kind of wherever. Alright, so let's get rid of all of this. as best as we can. We're probably not going to be able to get rid of all of it because we went with such a dark lid. Um, but again, that was so that you guys could see. And it doesn't matter that much for what I'm doing in the next steps. Again, if you are going to be like using different mediums to do this, and you're not going to be putting tissue paper on top as a final um, product, then you might want to go with a lighter graphite. Okay. So there's sort of our naked peacock, um, peafowl, excuse me. We do have like this one little... Okay. Hands are covered in graphite. <laughs> Yay. That's okay. It'll wash off. It's fine. It'll be okay. Alright, now. We've got this, um, this, this mess over here. So, um, it's not going to be exact. Um, I know I've kind of got it exact, but it's it's not going to be. Um, and it's especially not going to be because we're doing tissue paper, so we can't get super small without driving ourselves batshit crazy. Um, but we do want to kind of put in our little, um, like a scallop, kind of like a seashell, clamshell edge. So, I mean, this line, even though we went crazy trying to get it right, it was more just the angle. Because it's not going to be that harsh. Or that, you know, straight. This is going to be kind of wobbly and and wonky and all that stuff. And I don't want these to be completely lined up here. That's gonna look weird, so. I mean, that's something that we can adjust for. when we get in here and really get get going with the um, tissue paper. I mean, even when we put the color key in, the color key is not the law of the land here. By no stretch of the imagination, we can completely change it. And it's, it's gonna be okay. We can do some of these smaller. And all that. I mean, because it's not gonna be completely 
asymmetrical because it's nature. It's a living creature. So this is gonna be like our blue. Um, this is gonna be like this. This um, our multi shades of green. Um, I had a idea for how this was gonna end up looking in my head. Um, don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it off. Um, we might be going a little too tight in here. Um, that's okay. We will, we will adjust as needed. Okay, so that's kind of what that's going to be. Um, now, <laughs> For uh, this is gonna involve layers, okay? Um, lots of layers. We're gonna be going through a lot of white tissue paper here, and I know it's like, but why? Um, the the background. I've been sitting here trying to differentiate it and trying to figure out. There's all kinds of um. Sorry, I'm tapping the reference photo. There's all kinds of these white um, bars, tubes. Um, some of them you can tell the feathers are coming out of them. And others, I thought, were just the background of what this thing was standing in front of. However, you can't see anything else. And they're kind of um, bursting um in a, in a radius around it around the the animal so i think those are actually attached to the animal um so i think the plan is is to come in with um with white uh tissue paper and we're just going to do directional lines everywhere um, like, like, going in, <laughs> in directions, like, star bursting, if you will, kind of like a firework going off, um, like this, with the white, okay? And trying to figure out where like it almost looks like white brown, white brown, white brown, but um, because there's like gaps and shadows and stuff, and I might do that, I might alternate between white and brown. And, um, so some things might, like, it might get nestled alongside of, and then other areas, it's probably going to get laid on top. So, like, this is probably going to get laid on top of whatever's going on back here behind it. So, um, this is kind of for me, for my directional reference of the way I need things to lay. For these white and brown sections. And 
ones. Um, almost on top of the white and brown sections, we have a more pronounced white, and then we have um, our circles. So, um, which are kind of more spaced out of these guys, kind of, kind of, um, so I kind of have to figure out where we want those to be, um, so say we've got, they're kind of like ovals. I mean, honestly, that's probably too big, but. And then it's got kind of like an inner inner oval and then it kind of has like another horseshoe of color there so I mean we can detail the color in on that um, in a minute we've got like another one like down in here Um, this one's kind of leaning downwards. Like, kinda. Actually, that should probably be more sideways, but. the idea and then this one like they're almost teardrop shapes but kind of egg shaped as well so they don't really have a hard point on them And I, I know there's a lot more in, in the, the reference photo than what I'm putting in here. And, and that's fine. If you want more of these guys, then by all means, um, go ahead. I'm not going to go too heavy on the, the details with this. So there is one kind of sitting behind this. Um, we might try to put that in. I don't know if it's really going to be worth it though. We might skip that one because that's going to be, um, I don't know, we'll think about it. We've got one, and if you need to turn this to help you get the shape going in your brain, then, then turn it, it's fine. Nobody said that you're not allowed to turn your paper. I certainly didn't say it. Sometimes you need to turn it. Let's 
to get angles right. If you're having trouble drawing something, try drawing it upside down. By all means. Wow, there's a lot of traffic for a Sunday. My goodness. I mean, I guess because it's a holiday. But still, that's that's a lot of a lot of traffic there. Alright, so we don't want to go too overboard because I mean there's some, but it's not like completely filled in. Alright, so let's put the pencil stuff away. And the erasers, because we're kind of done with that now. Um, we're going to bust out some paint to get our color key in place. take some more medication because this is bleh. Alright. Now. We need to get our bag of paint. we want here so definitely need some sort of, of blue so we need to figure out what shade of blue we want with the paint so I'm just going to pull out some blues um, I'm using the Arteza acrylic paint for this um, it's my, it's honestly what I could reach. Um, my other paints are sort of varied at the moment. Um, under my desk. So, um, if I was feeling better, I would have dug those out gladly. Those are cheaper. Alright, so we've got an array of blues here. Um, now we have to figure out what blue is gonna work here. So we've got kind of like this. Oh, well, not the pearl. Sorry, pearl. Your your pretty your pretty effects will be wasted here. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what's what's going to work um, similar to the shades of tissue paper that we're going to be bringing in and um, if it's not the same shade as tissue paper that's fine um, it probably won't be since I don't have that tissue paper yet um, Prussian feels a little dark for this Ooh, okay I think we'll go with ultramarine for our blue for our dark blue, okay? We've got um, a couple of shades of blue. We have like a turquoise blue um, in a couple of spots. I don't, I don't have a turquoise per se in the Arteza, actually. Um, so, I don't know if I want to handle that. Um, we might sky blue the turquoise sections just for now. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at, at my options here. Um, I think 
They don't really have that many different shades of blue, but like it's kind of like this. Oh, so I think Prussian is going to be a little too dark. Um, Alright, we do need a gray for the beak. If you hear banging in the background, like popping, I apologize. People are starting to set off firecrackers because um, it's 4th of July and um, everybody in this area seems to love their fireworks. I don't mind watching fireworks from a distance. I don't like them going off close to me. I'm, I'm sound sensitive so um, and my ears are messed up currently from whatever the sinus thing is and um, I'm not enjoying the sound of these fireworks and firecrackers going off, especially since the dogs are getting kind of wigged out about it as well. Um, so we have a shit ton of greens. So we have to figure out our green situation here. Um, as I dig through our Ziploc bag looking for them all. This is a brown. Um, I might need that brown in a little bit. So I pulled out a gray. Um, like, I don't want to get too carried away with the detailing color because um, we're not going to get the level of detail out of the tissue paper that you would expect from like a regular painting so I kind of have to keep reminding myself of that um, I don't think I need that shade so let's keep looking for our greens here we've got a ton of them this the 60 set from Arteza has a lot of greens so if you're into painting like foliage and stuff, you've got it made. of some colors that I would like there to be, but, you know, what can you do about that? Not a whole hell of a lot. Alright, I think that might be the bulk of the greens. I think everything else in there is kind of, like, yellowy. Okay. So, that's a good number of greens. Um... So in our reference photo, we kind of have like this limey, bright green. Um, like there's three colors off the top of my head that I could think would fit out of my other set of paints, but I don't have those right now. Sorry, I'm trying to get this paint open. Um. So this might be close to our lime green. It's probably as close as we're going to get in this set. Um, in the Anitas, there's like three shades that I could think could possibly work here. Um, possibly the the lime sorbet or, or the lime, um, the wasabi, maybe the soda pop, like, like those in there if I'm thinking of the right colors so we'll try with that one um there is a bit of a more yellowy color in here um kind of surprises me well, I need white we, we need white I'll just put white there now since I put my hands on it um yellow green I thought I had a more I might no 
not. I might be confusing my my shades. Um, Mars Black will, will do for the black that we need. Um, Alright, so we've got this shade of green. And it doesn't have to be the exact shade. There is a teeny bit of yellow in a couple places. So I feel like, like I kind of already have an idea of what tissue paper shades we're using. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do for my color key. So. I think we will need a yellow in here, um, so I think we'll go with those two, and we kind of need like a slight mid-range green in a few places, not many. Um, but in a few. I think we're actually going to go with pale green instead of mid green um, for some spots on the body. And then we've got our, our tendrils. Um, coming off, which are kind of, kind of like, ugh, in some spots they're like tan. And other spots, they're green. Like some spots are tan with like a, um, a deep shadow under them. So. We, we might, I, I might be looking at this too detailed, um, need to simplify this for what we can realistically attempt to do here. So... I'm looking at all these things, I'm like, oh, what about this? I'm like, oh, but what about, I'm like, yeah, but we're not going to be able to do that level of um, detail. I have to keep reminding myself that, so. Alright, I think we've got our colors. So I'm going to the paint bag out of, oh, no, I missed a color. Hold on. I think I know what color I want. To so, um, yeah, I think I just seen it. Is it more like ultra or was it? No, it wasn't that color. That color. So it takes a little bit more time to find the color I'm looking for with them in the Ziploc. But it was a lot easier to store them in the Ziploc because I am short on space and uh, the, the box and the trays are nice but um, you kind of need to have the cabinet or the shelf space to 
do that. I am actually going with a color a little bit lighter than I was thinking. Um, it's probably going to end up being more of like a orangey color. Once um, I get the tissue paper in, but I think I have a muted orange that'll work. Sorry, I had to grip the um, the tops of the tubes with that. Alright, I don't have a clean mini palette, so... Well, I mean, I don't have a mini... I, I don't have a dirty mini palette clean, if that makes sense, so we'll have to pull out a new one. And we're gonna need a brush. Alright. So again, this is just a color key. This is not this is not exact. It's not gonna be exact. Um I am adding a little bit of water to this. just to um, get the color idea down. It, it, it just, it really is just kind of a half-assed wash is what we're doing. Okay. That's all I want this to be. It's okay that there's little eraser fuzzies in here. It's fine. Again, I'm just kind of Trying to make it not bright white underneath, so that when we put the paper down, if we have any gaps, there's not this glaring white space showing through. That's all this is about. All it is. Now the Arteza paint dries, or likes to dry super quick in your palette, which is why I'm adding a little bit of water and why also I'm just kinda, we're just popping this in. This is going to look ugly, okay? We are in very much the ugly stage of this. That's just how it is. because this is just basically our color suggestion of where we're going to put this stuff. So think of it as an underpainting before you start getting real, real detailed. It's real loose, it's real, real wild. Suggestions of colors here and there. And I am gonna be scrubbing some colors in here. You're gonna see the pencil through it. And I know we might have some white still peeking through in spots. Um, that's fine. Because, you know, you're not going to have a glaring gap everywhere. The odds of that are, are silly low. Um, it's just to kind of cover any potential glaring gaps we might have. And again, it's also our reference. It's our color key. I mean, I will still probably have, like, I'll have my reference photo around, um, especially for areas where I'm like, oh, what color was this supposed to be? Was I trying to layer something here? Was I going to have to layer something here? 
Um, so I'll still have it around, but I will probably um, not be sorry noises. Um, looking at it much. Oh, hang on. I just forgot. I gotta remind the husband to do something. He went in the other room. Let's see if he actually gets my message. His phone doesn't always pick up messages being sent when they're sent. Sometimes he'll get a text message or a Discord message like 20 minutes after the fact. Um, it's actually a good deal of black back in here. But for now, we're just going to put it in as blue. He had started some laundry, so I just wanted to make sure that he remembered to check to see if it was time to swap them out. Alright, so I'm still adding some water to this. Okay, so there's gonna be some blue in here. So that section was probably a little too, like, if you get it a little too watery, um, it's gonna. You're going to be able to tell it. it's a little, maybe excessively watery on the canvas because it's going to look weird. It's going to puddle or beat up a little bit. Which is why you have to have special canvas for watercolor that they make now if you want to do watercolor on a canvas. So you can see down here, I didn't have it as watery. I got a little too carried away there. Okay. Um, so up in here, we've got our Our poof to do's. There's going to be other color in there, so. I was worried I didn't put out enough paint, and uh, probably have too much now. Okay, so. Alright, um. in the center of our big guys here. It still sounds slightly robotic in my one ear, but it's not as bad as it was. I do, or I can see um, an improvement. Just my sinuses, man. Probably have a fucking sinus infection. Okay. I don't have a fever, though, so. We're gonna 
keep pushing on through. It's almost worse when you feel shitty in the summer. Because then it's hot, right? So you feel almost twice as shitty. Because it's hot out. Again, this is just really rough color key. Just putting in the suggestions of where I want these. Colors to be. And it's going to look a little different from the reference photo, and that's fine. Maybe it doesn't actually end up being a realistic PFAL, and that's okay. It could be a brand new bird type. Alright, is that where, is that all of the spots that we wanted the blue? I think so. Okay. So I'm going to rinse my brush. Back to using the big cup that I've been using for the glue. Not sure why, but that's what we were using today. Probably because it was already dirty. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, next color is going to be our... Um, do we want to go with this color? Um, hang on, let's, let's, let's sit on that for a second. Let's go gray for our beak. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. That was way too much gray for the, the amount that I need. Alright. Start to put in the gray for our our beak here. And um, there's actually going to be a second color there that I'm going to have to put in. Can't forget to come back and put that in. I'm just probably going to put it in in that orange color that I grabbed. Um, just for now, I know it's not going to be the orange color. but just so I don't have to go digging for another color here. All right, blot that off. Those two colors are done um, for the most part. Now, now. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get my thoughts together here. It's not working. Um, sorry, I guess we'll do the sky blue next. It's 
So like I said, these colors might differ from what the tissue paper colors actually end up being, but this is as close as I can get without um, having the tissue paper in front of me because I don't have it yet. So there's going to be some, some of the light blue woven in to the top there. Um, we're going to have some some speckles up here. It's going to be dots. We're probably going to do little paper balls up in here. It'll be okay. It'll make more sense once we start getting the tissue paper in. Um, so like I said, right now We're just kind of getting in our um, suggestions of where we want the colors to go. And there'll be, there's, in the, the color pack that I was looking at, there were um, the shades that I wanted. So, and like I said, you know, I can only work with the colors that I have. And while I probably do have more accurate colors as to what the paper is going to be um, in the other brand, uh, this is what I had pulled out, so... It'll be all right, but it's probably going to look a bit different. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be exact. This is just so we can wrap our heads around how we're going to come in here with the paper and um, lay it down. I'm not even really sure what um, what paper, paper textures are really going to go where yet. Um, there might not be an art stream next week. I will warn you of that right now because I have to do paper prep on the new stuff that I don't have yet. So just be forewarned. There might not be one next week. Because it takes a hot minute to uh, cut all that and then twist it and figure out what we're doing and, and all that stuff. So. Apologies ahead of time. If that's what ends up happening. Okay. All right. Um, let's go with the yellow ochre even though I keep trying to call it yellow okra it's ochre I think it's ochre I don't I don't fucking know all right um So it's going to end up being kind of like an orangey color. 
I know it kind of looks like a golden yellow at the moment, but um, once we get the tissue paper and like the golden yellow tissue paper I have is, is too much for this, but I have um, sort of a paler orange that I think will do the trick here. Alright, so this is kind of going to ring both the colors. And again, I am doing this super quick. Okay. Like I said before, this is going to look bad right now. Because I don't want it to be too pretty, because we're not going to see this in the end. This is just for us, okay? Just for our reference underneath. And when all of the paper gets laid in on top, you're not going to see it anymore. So... It's okay that this is sloppy. It's okay that this isn't perfect. And in fact, I can show you one of my off-stream ones that I'm working on so you have a better idea. Um, so this is the um, lobster float trap one I'm working on. And you can see it is super sloppy in here, but as this is getting laid down on top of it, you don't see this. So this is just for my reference. And I was originally going to do brown tissue paper in the background here, and I'm like, well wait, number one, that's a lot of brown tissue paper and a lot of cutting and sizing and stuff, but I've got sand. so. Um, as I'm going across, I'm putting glue down in the crevices in between and I'm filling it with sand and I'm going to go back and where the sand went in places I didn't want it, I'm going to adjust it with a little bit of paint and then I'm going to paint the background a little bit um, with uh, a different color so it just doesn't look like sand color. So um, I think I've got like a specific shade of green and maybe brownish blue that I want to put in the background there, sort of like a patina kind of on a wood type thing, but um, you know, it's, it's not, this part doesn't matter as long as you can figure out your color suggestion key. Alright, technically we don't even have to do this stage you don't want to do the paint underneath? You don't have to. This is just for me. I get confused easily. The understatement of the year. Um, for those that know me, I, I can get really confused and muddled at times, so this kind of helps me stay a little bit more on track with what I was um, thinking of how I was going to approach stuff. So, again, if you don't want to do this section or this part, you don't have to. I've done these where I haven't done any color underneath and I've been like, ooh, you know, I've got gaps that are really noticeable because it's white canvas underneath. That's the only reason I am doing this. If you think you can do this without the gaps or the gaps won't bother you, then you don't have to go this far. Alright, um... Sorry, I'm trying to think of how we're... Why is my camera twitching? It's doing it again, and I don't know what its deal is. I 
it's like pulsing and I don't know why. Not pulsing on my end, it's pulsing on Twitch. Which is bizarre as fuck. I wonder if I have fuzz or something on the lens and it's Try to clean the lens. I may have to adjust the camera. No, it's still doing it. I don't know why. It's being. It's being fussy. Why can't I get a camera to just work? Because that's not allowed. Alright. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Alright. That's... Okay. Um... Alright. So... Do I need a background yet? So, I've got brown and white that we're probably going to be doing for the background. I don't know if I want to twist that or if I want to this okay so this white actually comes down into here okay, so that's gonna be white actually I forgot to um one line of another color. So, I forgot to bring that in. So I was going to. Alright, and then we've got the white under the eye, which is gonna look gray because of the graphite, but we know it's supposed to be white. Um, like, I don't even, do we even really need to, like, we might not even really need to, um, put the light in the background. Because, you know, that's a lot of paper. Sorry, I'm, I'm weighing my options. Um, So, actually, I think, now hear me out, <laughs> I love using sand where I can because it covers really far. Um, No, 
hear me out. What if we... Fill in all of this section with sand that's supposed to be the background colors. Um, like the, the background um, brown and white. And um, after the sand is in, then we paint that to um, reflect the brown and the white um, ribbing, shall we say. And then we lay the um, the um, more prominent tubular parts of the feathers on top oops sorry I scratched the microphone uh, with the paper handle and then that way um, I try to get my art supplies to go as far as I can because I'm just thinking that's a lot of um, time and a lot of supply for something that's going to get covered, right? So maybe that's not a bad idea because sand is super cheap. Like I can get a box of um, sandbox sand, or a box, I can get a bag of um, sandbox sand for like five bucks and it will probably last me oh I don't know probably a year depending on how much I use it and depending on if the husband steals it for anything but I think I think that could be the way we're going to go. And um, I think that sounds like a better idea. Because, you know... Um, it's a lot faster to paint it in than it will be um, to um, paper it in by far. And I'm not, like, I don't really care about the time. It's just that I'm like, that is a lot of paper to um, be papering over, you know? And I'm just thinking about the current financial situation that we're in and trying to get the most out of everything. Oh, shit. What? I forgot to take the sauce out of the freezer. I'm going to take it out now. Thank you. Like I said, my brain is not here today. I knew I was forgetting to fucking do something every time. Our pizza sauce. Or the sauce we're using on our pizza. I try to take it out so it falls out ahead of time. So I don't have to wash a pan another pan, an extra pan. So 
especially when I don't feel well. Uh, not that big of a deal, but it still aggravates me. Alright, so again, I am just doing this super... I'm doing it super messy and super sloppy right now. It's on purpose. I really hadn't intended for this to be too long of a stream today, and it's going to end up being that. Alright, just slapping on some base color on the edges. When I go back to paint the sand, we'll, um, we'll put a better layer of that on. Now we're just kind of, we're being messy, we're being sloppy. It's fine. It's like I said, especially if the sand's going to cover this part, I'm not going to see it. Technically, I don't even really have to be doing this much since there's going to be sand down on this section, but kind of already started, so it's kind of like, well, should probably keep going. Just so it doesn't look too... too strange. So I'm thinking sand is going to go down before anything else. So there might be a stream next week. We might be just doing, well, we might be painting the sand next week. Let's put it that way. Because I can't paint the sand until the sand's dry. So maybe there won't be a stream next week and I will put the sand down off stream. Because that's not going to take that long. And I don't want to be on for like just a half an hour just for you to watch me put sand down. That seems silly. To be perfectly honest. I mean, I could record me doing the sand off stream. I guess, but I mean, it, it kind of depends on how much tissue paper prep I get done. Um, so next week's stream will definitely be played by ear. gonna bring sand up into there. Um, the sand will probably actually be in here too. And then the little little sticky doos we'll just um, we'll put those in on top. So that's, that's where we stand with that. Oh good, I got paint on my shirt. This was an at-home shirt anyway. I needed a new at-home shirt because one of my at-home shirts is uh, about to bite the dust because cow 
velcroed himself to me and wouldn't let go and by the time we finally got him detached from me he ripped about four holes in my shirt and they're steadily growing Alright, was she almost done? Um, she's done working on it. Could you preheat the oven? What temperature? Uh, 425. Okay. Alright, oh, dogs are getting in the kitchen. They know they're not supposed to be. Okay, so yeah, that's like our basic, very basic, 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 basic background. Um, all right, I'm just slapping on a real quick wash on this edge here, trying to and missing because depth perception, and I'm doing this in the air, so okay. Let me clean my brush. All right, now we've got um, um, probably. Our yellow color. There's not a whole lot of the yellow color. It's just in a couple of spots. Like this one's gonna have some yellow on the edge. Probably surrounding it. Um, say maybe this one. Um, it's kind of kind of it for the yellow. Um, I feel like so. There was very little yellow in there. Like we didn't even really need to do the yellow. Um, Alright, so let's go with our green. And green is going to be super quick here. Um, just going to kind of wash it in. And... Like we're going to have... Um, black on the edges to separate all of our sections again this is super sloppy on purpose you are just joining in We need it to, it doesn't need to be a masterpiece at this point, and I don't want it to be because we're covering this. All of this is getting covered. So I don't want to go too gung-ho and waste a whole bunch of paint on something that looks good that's just a base, a base thing, so... Alright, so we've got, uh, I, I think I think I want to do the lime green around the others. Um, our mid green though, we've kind of got 
a little bit in here. Not much. And we've got that in there. Oh good, they're setting off lots of firecrackers now. And um, do some more dots up in here on the head. Just so we know what we're doing up in here. Um, I don't think there's very much green up in here, maybe in a couple spots. Very, very little. Very little. Um, okay, there's a little bit of this green mixed in down in here. Very little. But maybe our bird's a little extra. It has a little extra green going on in there. Um, Alright. So. Okay. Like I said, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together about how we're approaching things. We've almost got our rough color key done. I'm probably going to have to have the um, the reference photo open on this one at times. Just because um, there there is a lot going on here. Now, this is going to be um, kind of like a lime green around these guys. I already know the color of paper I'm going to grab. But again, it's just kind of helping us define where our sand is going to go in the background. And what have you. This is just for our personal reference. We could like make this like fucking pink. I mean. Doing these guys around, doing the rings around these. Um, just you know, super quick filling in. I know some people are gonna look at this and be like, "What the fuck?" Because they're gonna come in halfway through and they're like, "This is fucking trash." And um, yeah, it kind of is at the moment. I wholeheartedly agree with you, but. We're at the, I don't even know what the hell abomination I'm looking at stage of, uh, of this. Alright, so these, um, it's kind of like half of the It's, it's kind of strange because it's like half of our scallop pattern here is um, lighter on one side. So this is going to be hard to paint in on every single one quickly. And then on this side it seems to be on the far sides of them, kind of turn somewhere in the middle here. 
but I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time on that because that's a detail that we're going to put in with the paper and that's fine. Like I said, this is a very rough basic color key. Extremely. Alright, so last color we're going to put in here. I can get it open. There we go. Gonna get some black. We're not gonna go crazy with this. So with our eyeball. Roughly. And we've got a nose section in here. I've got a cat rubbing up against my leg. And then this section we are going to um, outline. And like all of all of these in here are gonna get their their own little you know they're gonna get their their sections outlined. When we get to that point. So, I mean, I don't really have to put this in right now because we know we're going to be doing that. Um, it might help to just kind of keep us um, within our planned scalloped edges. But, you know, as with all of this, it's subject to change. We might not have as many scallopy guys in here. Um, depends on how tiny I can get these guys with the paper. I'll still be able to um, manage it. So there is a little bit of some... black feathers in here too and then over in here there's some some dark 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 feathers in here And then, at the risk of doing this and having it bleed because this is still very, very wet underneath. Well, we can just do it that way then. That works too. All right, so there's our rough, oh no, wait, we're not done. Um, we have to. I mean, it's not, like, we're going to have these guys, but when we go to put the sand in, we're going to lose this, so it doesn't really seem worth um, putting in at the moment, you know, because this is all going to get covered. 
you know what I mean? So I mean that's a, a detail that we'll be putting in with paper. Um, and then you know we have our our squiggles that are gonna come off of everything. So as far as the color key is concerned, we're pretty much done because anything else that we put down is gonna be going on top of the sand section and we're we're gonna lose it when we put the sand on so that that's just the way it is that'll be something that will be added in on top so uh, for now at this stage that's as far as we can go without doing pointless things you know what I mean so um, I don't know about next week's art stream We'll have to play that by ear. It really depends on um, if I have stuff prepped or not. I'd say it's unlikely because I'll probably need to take next Sunday to prep entirely. Because um, I'm going to be busy the rest of the week. So we might just skip next Sunday and then just bank on the Sunday afterwards. I think that sounds more feasible. Um, so the next regular stream will be on Wednesday. Sorry, I had to think about that. Um, and we will be working on Bloodthirsty for Wild Challenges. Thursday will be oh, and we'll be trying to do a little bit of iron if we have time. We'll be um, looking for chests, I guess. Uh, Thursday will be Stardew Valley. Um, Friday we might start a Planet Zoo game. We might give, um, we might make Franchise Friday a thing. I'm really bad at building, just so you all know. It'll probably be a hot mess, you should come watch. Um, but uh, I'm just, I'm toying with the idea. We might. It depends on how I'm feeling, number one, and um, number two, if I have time. So, this is our really rough, horrendous color key um, base. And so, um, we will be moving forward and layering this up from there and getting our sand put in and then getting our other tissue paper put in. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, so this is this is our base. And uh, we'll see what we can do once I get the tissue paper in. Because um, I don't have it yet. But yeah, I mean, it's not, not a bad rough peacock since I never drew one before. But um, yeah, so thank you for checking it out today. Uh, I will see you guys on Wednesday for Bloodthirsty. Um, have a safe rest of your 4th of July if you're celebrating. Um, if you're not, just enjoy the rest of your day and have a, a good start to your week and I will see you later.